Good morning everyone. I hope everybody's happy and okay around wherever you are. Uh, today we're going to do a loose painting. And as, uh, and as loose and uh, as we can. And clear our minds before we start. Don't try too hard. Let's have simplicity which is our main aim right now this time put my glasses on it helps now this is all blocking for 140 it's not an expensive paper but it's a, a wood pulp paper now let's see pick up a, this is a, a wash brush it's a cheap one uh, probably off, off ebay usually but uh, it's only for well, I don't know, is it really for wetting in? We wouldn't need it really, would we? Anyway, we'll start. We'll, we'll do with, uh, try and do a very, very loose one. So, we'll just uh, start with a bit of Windsor Blue. And we'll put, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, burnt umber in it, would you believe? bit more but try and keep it bluey but an unusual blue but um, we're going to just patch it about like this let's not get too serious this is it isn't it keep it loose uh, now we're thinking about now a bit more umber uh, just to, let's see yeah a bit more umber yeah but but very 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 weak very weak indeed now you can see that uh, what that we've done there now uh, well. Now what I'm going to do now is get a little bit of burnt umber, right, and a little bit of lemon in it. I'm going to put some lemon in it, and uh, we're going to sweep it across like that, unleave it, bring a bit into the sky. And that's it. Just in this area here, I'll bring that bluey cast sky colour. Just here. Now that dried it off. It might be dry right through. We don't know, but we don't bother too much about it. So. Our next thing we'll do is get our a size 8 or a bit bigger brush, in a normal brush, but uh, this is a bit old and worn, so let's see, I've got one here, uh, but I'll still use, go on, I'll use it, still use it. Now we'll start off with uh, uh, that, uh, I told you I'm using some, see, it's uh, Windsor. But I'm uh, killing it with a little bit of burnt umber, and then I'm I'm not having it too uh, too weak. I'm not a pretty strong like that. Like just like that'll do. And then put a little bit of uh, raw sienna into it and a bit more lemon and then just uh, let's see you'll need a strip here and here like that and then we'll bring a little few trees and things here 
Okay, so now we've got the basics. Now the thing is, we have to get keep this uh, very simple. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, burnt umber, but I'm going to put some lemon yellow into it to make it into a, a little bit of a different type of a colour for some middle distance trees like that. And I'm just going to bring some depth into this a bit, here and there. And that's okay for now. So now I'm going to strike out with some burnt umber and lemon yellow on a bit of Payne's grey with it, just a touch of And I'm going to just bring out some uh, any old way. Now what I'm trying to do is bring some other colours into it. I'm just going to drop a bit of orange into it here.
Right, uh, next one. Okay. Okay, there we are.
just put in some dark on there because that's not that's uh, umber what's on Okay, with that finished now, lads and lasses, everybody have a good time, playing about with paints, relax, let it all happen, don't bother about the thing. Oh, that's that's caught on there. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, see what's causing that problem. Should be up there. And that can be right up there, those trees at the top. Uh, let's get that level there. That right? Yep. Better than into that. No, that's so easy. Who said that? Rubbish? Yay! Rubbish! 